Politeness by Harry Graham. My cousin John was most polite. He led short sighted Mrs. Bond by accident one winter's night into a village pond. Her life, perhaps, he might have saved, but how genteely he behaved. Each time she rose and waved to him, he smiled and bowed and doffed his hat. Thought he, although I cannot swim, at least I can do that. And when for the third time she sank, he stood bareheaded on the bank. Be civil then to young and old, especially to persons who possess a quantity of gold, which they might leave to you. The more they have, it seems to me, the more polite you ought to be. Politeness by Harry Graham My cousin, cousin John, was most polite. He led short-sighted, short-sighted Mrs. Bond by accident, accident, one winter's night, winter's night, into a village pond, village, village. Her life, perhaps, he might have saved, might have saved, but how genteely he behaved. Each, each time she rose and waved to him, he smiled and bowed and doffed his hat. He smiled and bowed and doffed his hat. Smiled and bowed and doffed his hat. Doffed his hat. Thought he, although I cannot swim, at least I can do that. At least I can do that. And when, for the third time, she sank, he stood bareheaded on the bank, bareheaded on the bank. Be civil then to young and old, especially to persons who possess a, possess a quantity of gold, which they might leave to you. The more they have, it seems to me, the more polite you ought to be. Subscribe to EdSherp and press the bell icon for new notifications.